Hello everybody. Today I want to show you how to make a planet and a smart way to unwrap a UV sphere. As suggested by the Blender artist user Paolo Gomes. This is for an older version of Blender but it will still work. But the shortcuts won't. Uh, we will look into this in a moment. But first a little, little side note about UV sphere and uh, the projection. So there are some ways to project a UV sphere nearly correctly, like this. But we want to have a planet. And for the planet we will use a rectangular texture, so this won't work. Now let's take a look at the Earth. So you, here you can see a rectangular projection of the Earth. The problem is that it isn't to scale. For example, you see the US is nearly as big as Northern Africa. And for example, this is a correct map of the world. Everything is to scale and here you can see the US and Northern Africa. That's a good illustration too. You can really see the scale here. Now, let's, let's quote here I fuck enough signs. The problem arises when we try to represent a three-dimensional object like the Earth in a two-dimensional projection. The result is a map that exaggerates the size of the areas that are further away from the equator. So that is the problem with that. I just wanted to cover this here because I thought it may be interesting and yeah, it's kind of important. So to get textures for different planets or the moon or whatever you want. Um, here you can see some, that's a great site, planetpixelemporium.com. You will find some good stuff there, some resources. I downloaded them too. Here they are. So with normal maps, some with mar uh, bump map for example, and this is all pretty useful stuff. So let's dive into Blender. So to create a planet, we won't use the UV sphere like this. We will build our own sphere. So let's just create a plane, scale it up by four, transform it on the z-axis four meters high. There it is again. Now we will subdivide it a few times because we need some some good quality here. That should be enough for now. And now go into top view, make a new window panel here, go to UV image editor. And by the way, you can access those really fast. For example, the UV image editor, you can access with shift and F10. And for example, the node editor with shift and F3. So that is a really useful thing. You don't have to go here and uh, there and yeah, you know, shift F10. That's easy. So now we will open up our texture. That's that. Just go to the model here in the edit mode again, press U and unwrap. That looks good. Now we will put this away for now. Go into the side view and now the trick. So you go to mesh to transform and warp. Now we press T and warp it only 180 degrees. Now we go to, we were in the right view. So we go to the front view, go to mesh, transform and warp again. But now 360. Now we have a good sphere, which is easily unwrapped. So let's just render it for now. Yes, you can see no texture applied. And we can go here and press Shift F3, the new trick we learned. Go to the material, a new material, add an image texture, connect those. Now we can just use the mask color and now it should work. You maybe smooth it out. Um, use a environment texture. There should be one. 
is that yeah now we see it is uh, rotated rotated in the wrong direction so just at first um, we set the origin to the origin of the grid rotated on the x-axis by 90 degrees now everything should be fine yes indeed it is so now we have a f first nice planet the Mars that's cool you can do further things um, for example we can add a subdivision modifier maybe on 4 then a displacement modifier create a new texture oops here it is go to the displace and we now choose the bump map oh that looks cool but useless for us so we change the texture coordinates to UV and decrease the strength so like this now you can see Mars with some nice details which are maybe needed maybe not so I just wanted to show you that and you can still use the normal map or the bump map which is maybe enough for your purpose I will put the link to those things here in the description of the video to this great site and what you can for example do with that I did it in a in an upcoming scene I will post soon it's a work in progress in the moment use the moon as a lamp so that's a real thing uh, you can see this here that's pretty nice for space nerds and whoever so this is a cool use I believe and I hope this was useful for you and you can of course not only use this for planets but for whatever you need it where you need a good unwrapped fast unwrapped UV sphere basically yeah just hit render again and just look at it nice of course it's pretty simple but I hope you'll be creative as always use it wisely and have fun bye